Dear friends and viewer, good day. Today I'm going to discuss with you the Greek tragedy, one of the Greek play, Electra, written by Sophocles. Sophocles is well known to the world. He is a great Greek tragedian, one of the Greek tragedians like uh, Euripides and uh, uh, Sophocles and and another Greek tragedian. Sophocles born in 495 and 406 BC. So let us discuss about this play, uh, how it, uh, what is the background of this play? Agamemnon and Manilus were kings of Agros and Sparta. Respectively, Manilus, Manilus' wife, Helen, whose abduction caused the Trojan War, Agamemnon, leader of the Greek army, sacrificed his daughter Epigenia to ensure the departure of the fleet. His wife, Clemenistra, uh, committed adultery with uh, Agistos while Agamemnon away at Troy. And when her husband returned with Agistos, Eight, she murdered him. He was avenged seven years later by his son, Orestes, who killed Agistus and Clymenistra. So this play of Electra of, by Sophocles uh, begins like this, that Plytus, Orestes, and the old man, uh, Orestes keeper, arrive at Mycenae at daybreak. They have come to exact revenge for the murder of Agamemnon, Orestes' father. Agamemnon was killed by, by her wife and his lover, uh, uh, Augustus. So what happened? They have come to exact revenge for the murder of Agamemnon. Orestes' father, as instructed by an oracle of Apollo, Electra, Orestes' sister, is heard sobbing within the house outside of which the three stand discussing how to execute their plan. Orestes wishes to greet her, but instead the old man leads him away to present an offering at his father's grave. As Apollo's oracle has instructed, Electra emerged from inside the palace gate, pouring forth her grief in the mournful address to the heavens and praying to the deities to help her exact revenge for her father's death. The chorus which is comprised of the virgins of the palace attempt to console Electra, but Electra bemoaning, bemoaning the oppression she suffers at her mother's hands, her deep sorrow at her father's death, and her longing for Orestes' return prove inconsolable. Chrysothemis, Electra's young sister, emerged from the palace with a funeral offering. She's unsurprised to find Electra mourning as usual outside the palace gate and scolds her for it, urging her to get on with her life. She warns Electra that Augustus, their mother, Clymenistra, husband, intends to lock her away in a secluded room unless she pulls herself together, to which threat Electra rolls her eyes. Cry Chiriso Thomas then explains her purpose in carrying funeral offering. She has been sent to make an offering at Agamemnon's grave by Kaliministra, who is terrified by a dream she had the night before that Agamemnon, the husband she murdered, returned and planted his scepter in the floor of the house. The scepter grew branches from which leaves grew and overshadowed the land. Electra successfully convinced her sister to throw away their uh, mother's offering and instead to leave an offering of their own uh, Chrysotomus agrees and leaves to do so. Clymenistra approaches 
with a servant who also carries an offering. She chastises Electra for mourning in the street, and the two have an argument about Agamemnon's murder. Clymenistra maintained that it was just uh, murder done as revenge for Agamemnon's sacrifice of their daughter Epigenia. Electra holds that sacrifice was necessary, and that regardless of this, Detailed Clymenistra murdered Agamemnon out of lust for Agistos. After this angry altercation, Clymenistra, standing beside an altar, prays to Apollo for wealth, longevity, and in guarded terms for the death of her son. Orestes, so that he might not return and disrupt her life. As soon as Clymenistra has finished praying, the old man enters in the uh, character of the potion bearing a false account of Orestes' death. Clymenistra is briefly touched by the maternal feeling, yet delighted that her prayer has been answered. Electra is overcome with grief. Clymenistra assures the old man inside to receive her hospitality. Christ so Thomas returns from Agamemnon's grave full of joy and ensure that Orestes has returned because at their father's grave she found a fresh offering of flour and a lock of hair. Electra informs her sister that to the contrary Orestes uh, is dead and that his revenge is to be achieved. The sister must take matters into their own hands. Uh, Chrysotomus rejects the idea as too risky and leaves Electra to her grieving. Orestes then approached with Plytus in the character of a Phocian carrying an urn that is pretended uh, contains Orestes' ashes. Electra despair in high, is heightened and she takes the urn and laments over it. At uh, length, Orestes, visibly affected by the sight of his sister suffering, reveals himself to her, displaying their father's ring as proof of his identity. Electra's grief is immediately replaced with joy as she is in the middle of celebration when the old men emerge from within the palace and hurries Orestes inside to kill Clymenistra. Electra remains outside watching for Augustus so, so that he might not return unobserved. She listened excitedly to the sounds of Orestes killing Clymenistra. Orestes, having successfully killed his mother, returned to Electra to tell her the news, but he hurries back inside as they see Agistus approaching. Agistus asks Electra where the uh, Phocians with news of Orestes' death have gone, and she points inside the house. He demands that the door and gates of the palace be opened so that the citizen can see what he thinks is Orestes' corpse. Orestes brings the corpse of Clymenistra covered with a sheet to Agistus, and when the body is uncovered, Agistus realizes that he has been trapped and that the death is upon him. Orestes ordered Agistus inside so that he might kill him in the exact spot where years before Agistus killed Agamemnon. So this is the story of Electra, the daughter of Agamemnon, how his brother had avenged the death uh, of his father uh, Agamemnon from his mother Clymenistra. The character involved in this play is Electra, is the eldest daughter of Clymenistra and Agamemnon. Poorly treated by her mother and her mother's husband, Agistus, she spent her days mourning her father's murder and awaiting the return of her brother Orestes. When she believes with help of her, uh, with, with help her to carry out that which she must longs for. Vengeance for her father's death, she is stubbornly devoted to the principle of justice, reverence and honor. Although uh, oftentimes her grasp on this principle, principle seems questionable. Orestes is the son of another character, the brother of Electra. Orestes is the son of Clymenistra and Agamemnon, and therefore is the rightful king of Argos. 
saved as a young child by Electra and smuggled away to Phocia after Agamemnon's murder. He has now returned to Mycenae to avenge his father's death. As instructed by the oracle of Apollo, he is advised accompanied by his tutor and keeper, the old man. So, Clymenistra, another character, the mother, the unfaithful wife of Agamemnon, who killed uh, her husband with the help of his her lover. Clymenistra is the queen of Argos, formerly married to Agamemnon, whom she murdered. She now reigns corruptly alongside Aegisthus, her paramour. She despises and poorly treats her daughter Electra, whose constant mourning and desire for revenge threatened Clymenistra. She loves wealth and well-being, both of which she enjoys, but she is clearly haunted by her past action and aware that her current happiness rests on uneasy ground. Uh, Chiris Thomas is the younger daughter of Clymenistra and Agamemnon. Although she recognized her mother's corruption and although she understood the injustice of her father's murder, she refuses to mourn in the way that her sister Electra does. She realized that she will gain the greatest benefit. Old man was a faithful servant to whom Electra entrusted Orestes as a young boy. The old man smuggled Orestes Phocia Augustus is the paramour of Clime Minister, the lover of and responsible for the murder of Agamemnon. Chorus is the comprised of virgin of that palace. Plytus is the Orestus silent. Uh, so these are the character uh, involved in this play, the Electra. Electra uh, uh, is uh, used this term. Fried has used in his uh, no, in psychoanalytical theory uh, the Electra complex and Oedipus complex. So Electra complex, Fried uses it that the love of a daughter towards uh, her father. Here we in this uh, Fried had taken this concept from this play of Electra by uh, Sophocles, the great. Greek tragedian. So these are the uh, characters which I have told you and uh, this play is played a very beautiful play, uh, the Electra by Sophocles, the tale of revenge, how uh, the daughter loved uh, her father and how she hates her mother, Clymenistra, by taking the revenge of her father from uh, her mother, Clymenistra, and uh, his and her lover, Agistos. So this play is one of the best play of the Greek tragedy. Thank you very much.